Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in. In this video I am looking at Antonio rated 1500 and um, playing him against uh, and the other chess.com bots. You can go to chess.com and see all the bots that I'm going through. But today we're looking at Antonio and it was a 75 move game and so uh, I played the black pieces and uh, we're going to go through some things. I made some mistakes and um, we're going to look at some things that worked and didn't work and some of the ideas that may help you uh, if you're struggling with this bot. 1500's a pretty respectable ELO. It can definitely throw some twists. Uh, computer says I performed at 83% and my opponent Antonio uh, 76%. So it is 75 moves so let's get into it right away. Um, so let's see here. Okay, so uh, again, you know, biggest thing, just try to control the center and develop your pieces. Get your pieces out there. That's the biggest thing to remember. And uh, doing a Sicilian opening, and you don't even have to worry too much about remembering all these different openings. I mean, it, it, there's a lot out there. Maybe just pick two or three of the most common ones and try to just work with those. Um, a lot of these openings, honestly, I don't remember the names of. I recognize the pattern and I recognize a few key things to watch out for, but I, you know, to be honest, I don't remember all the, the different variations in their names. And um, Okay, so this is, normally in the Sicilian, I, I get it, this pawn takes, but I like to try new things and that's how I learn is by getting in here and just trying new things. So. I just, and I've done this before where I just take with the knight and, and instead of the pawn. And so that's what I wanted to get back to. Computer says it was an in, inaccuracy. And that's true. I mean, the computer knows better than I do. But it pretty much ends up the same. Um, but so I just wanted to try this different variation that I just came up with. My hopes was that this pawn could live on and not be taken right away. Um, and that actually is what happens. Um, so that actually uh, puts me up. So um, whenever I play, just remember I try to control the center and get pieces developed. So at that point, that pawn is gone, so I might as well take one more. And that's what I did. Um, the problem with that is I did help my opponent develop uh, a piece. So this bishop now this bishop controls this long diagonal once I move this bishop this is some things I have to be mindful of um, some pieces could be under attack here so yeah it did hurt me in that sense but um, you know uh, I'm only down one pawn my opponents down two pawns so um, or I, I'm sorry down three pawns so um, I'm up two pawns so that was my idea. This I'm just going to defend, and um, it's just an exchange. I feel like that's a mistake on my opponent's part. Antonio is because all you're doing is you just now it's an exchange, and my queen is a little bit better than it was before. So even though technically I'm not up, I feel like I'm up because my queen's in a little bit of a better spot and. Um, so anyway, I got to keep this going. Um, so there I assumed um, there would be a queen exchange and then I'd lose my right to castle. But uh, Antonio didn't take it, so that's fine. Um, I wanted to get this pawn protected. Uh, I like this is the best square for the knight, in my opinion, to get out there. But I had to protect this pawn. Um, it was under attack. So uh, that's what I did. That was my thinking there. Um, again, I'm still, this is kind of a weird game, that's for sure. But my, my goal right now is to develop these other two pieces. I want to get them working, get them out there. And I'm still trying to control the center. And so I'm still keeping that in mind. And um, so... Um, I'm just trying to get it out of the way. Um, 
I thought about placing the bishop here. Um, the problem with me putting it here is now I've got to develop my knight against the side of the board, which, okay, that's not the end of the world, but you're only going to control, you know, four squares as opposed to um, where your opponent in the middle of the board can control eight squares. So a little bit of a bad development, but I don't, I don't think it's the end of the world. I've got uh, a lot of pawns over here. I'm going to be concentrating my attack on the king side. So, um, okay, let's keep this game going here. Okay. So now this piece is under attack and it's not defended. I can either defend it, probably lose this pawn, or I can just it's blocked in here maybe it's better to get it developed somewhere is what I was thinking um, and so that's what I did actually came here lined up with the king so uh, I actually like that that kind of pins that uh, that absolutely pins that pawn there okay so let's keep this game going. we got I really thought it would uh, take the pawn but uh, Antonio decided not to um, so there you want to do a, an exchange sure I'll I'll take that exchange at this point um, I am let's see let's look at our uh, minor pieces I have one my opponent has one major pieces I have two my opponent has two so what's the difference between us is um, I have one two three pawn so at this point I am just trying to simplify the game. I'm trying to get this down to a simpler game, keep exchanging out, and then me and my three pawns, um, I'm going to try to have one of them queen. That's what I'm thinking. I always try to, in the mid game, I just try to get up something, a piece, a couple pawns, anything. And then from there, I just start simplifying the game the best I can. Okay. So it's a good idea. Remember, one piece by itself can't do a whole lot you have to get them to work together even a queen can't do much by herself it requires the aid of some kind of other piece so I'm trying to get my rooks lined up and since I'm ahead I'm going to be looking to simplify the game yeah I did have to abandon that pawn there uh, to get my rooks lined up but um, for me that's what I wanted I'm trying to simplify uh, computer says this is an inaccuracy and the computer knows better than I do. There's probably some some move in there that's that's better. But um, I'm just trying to. I've got the king side of the board covered so well. I really want to get rid of this pawn because this pawn could potentially queen later in the game. If I take it out, then I know I'm good. Look, I got too much going on on the king side. So that's kind of where my head is at right now. Um, let's check. Okay. I would have loved to come here and attack this knight and I thought about it the problem is I was afraid the rook would come here and then pin that knight to my rook um, which is okay um, then I have to move my rook I'm trying to cut off the king let me get those arrows out of there I'm trying to keep the king over here on this side of the board where I have all my pawns and knight um, so yeah you know computer says that was a mistake um, yeah maybe I should have gone over there um, but anyway the big idea is I want to get rid of this pawn because that's my potential threat for the future and I really want to keep the king over here where I have all these pawns and my knight so that's what I'm trying to do here. That's my mindset, if that helps you. Um, so now there's the check. This this knight is protected. So I don't have to worry about it too much. Um, I'm hoping to pick up this pawn. If not, I'll take this one. Um, yeah, he's not going to let me uh, take that pawn. I'm trying to get rid of him. So put a threat on that knight. Yep, there's the check. Get out of trouble. And now that knight's defended with that pawn. So I can't take uh, anything just yet. 
So I thought I'd do a check. Computer said that's inaccuracy. And um, yeah, you know, in hindsight, I wish I went ahead and took this pawn. But okay, so be it. My, my big idea still lives on. Uh, the king is starting to creep over here now. It's on the queen side. So dang it, I did not want that to happen. But let's keep going and see what happens. Hoping to trade out these knights here. And we do. Fantastic. Um, oh, good. So he's threatening my pawn right here. So now I threaten his. Oops. And so that's... Uh, and there it is. So finally I get rid of this pawn. So now I can focus on the king side of the board and get one of these pawns to promote. Okay. So here my idea is I want to get behind this pawn so that I can push this pawn. And um, the king is probably going to stop that from happening. And he does. So that was a good move on Antonio's part. He saw my plan. And uh, so I'm just going to keep strengthening this side. I've got two, three, four pawns to two. I really don't have anything to worry about here. We're equal on material. Uh, so I just really need to take to my advantage these extra pawns. And so that's what I need to get going. Uh, so let's see here. Okay. Yep, and there's that. Um, okay. So... Computer says this is an inaccuracy. Uh, I'm just trying to promote one of these pawns. I want to get it down to where I have a queen left and my opponent, uh, you know, only has a, a rook is what I'm trying to do here. Okay. And here's where I start making some mistakes, I confess. So now I've got two opportunities to queen. I can just leave this situation here all day. I can just uh, really focus on promoting one of these two pawns and I kind of mess it up a little bit here and we're going to take a look at it so it doesn't start out too bad at this point I should probably go ahead and abandon this pawn and bring this rook into the game um, that's my weakness is uh, I'm not bringing that rook into the game um, okay so I'm going to abandon this pawn there it is and now I should, what I should have done was bring this rook over here. That way I can move here and get this pawn promoted. Because when this rook comes here, you know, it, uh, I'll get it. Um, so I should give my king a nice safe place to go because, and I did not. And now we end up in this. And this is where you have to be careful because it's just a bunch of silly back and forth. And it's going to end in a stalemate. And now look at this. I'm right back where I was. Okay, so that was bad chess on my part. And now I, yeah, there goes that pawn and I figured that would happen. That's fine. I'm really focused on this one now. And, yep, exactly what I was talking about earlier. This, there's my check. I, I should have got this over there. Um, in my, okay. Okay, so this works. I'll take it. I'm going to queen, and then it'll just be my rook and king versus just a king. Okay, so that's what happens. So now I want to build a box. So I've got this cut off. So I want to keep going this way and get this king cut off to where it just has a very few places to move back and forth while I bring the king into the action. To help close in that box because what I said earlier, one piece by itself, I uh, can't can't do much. It needs the aid of another piece. So now that this is this king is in the A file, I want to go ahead and close all this off, and then bring my king in. Um, if you're in this position, <laughs> I mean you should probably um, just go ahead and surrender the game. But if you want to stay alive, try to stay in the middle of the game. So you don't get closed off like I'm doing to Antonio here. Okay, so now Antonio only has this to move back and forth in. So here comes the king to aid. And now I'm just closing in 
this box and uh, we're gonna okay so now this king can only bounce back and forth and then when I come in here you know it it's it's gonna be over okay and then now that's mate so you saw some of the mistakes I made and it all worked out uh, I did win against Antonio but uh, definitely made some mistakes uh, in the game just remember in that end game you know try to box in the king that's what I always try to think of and the mid game I was up I had three more pawns as opposed to my opponent material wise was the same uh, just my three pawns so I just start trading just trading down make it a simple game so I hope that helps uh, check out some of my other videos where I go through the chess.com bots and thank you for tuning in and have a great day